<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to New Pantheon Academia, the anime-inspired role-playing game show here on Saving Throw Show. I'm your host and professional hobbit, Stephen Pope, and I am very excited because this is the penultimate episode of the campaign. That's right. We got this next week and then some specials. Don't worry about it. We're going to do those. But before we dive into all that and we do our house cleaning and catch up with everyone, uh, let's meet everyone. Uh, starting with the uh, musical sensation sweeping the nation, it's Critical Bard. Yeah, that could have went like a couple of different ways, so I didn't want to assume. So I was just like staring and like, oh Hi. no, I was like, Bard is else in your screen name. <laughs> True, but there are other musical entities in the space. I'm aware. Mm -hmm. Thank Hi. you for acknowledging Paula me. Abdul. Come on down. Paula Abdul, exactly. Hi, my name is Paula Abdul, also known <laughs> as. <laughs> my name is Omega Jones, you know also known as Critical Bard. Uh, I, I do way too much. You know me. Follow me on our socials. Uh, today I am playing Kawame Akinyemi, getting back into that voice, haven't touched in a while, uh, whose divinities are the West African trickster god of stories, Anansi the storyteller, and the uh, Judeo Christian angel, archangel of destruction, Abaddon. That's me. Also, I got to remember what my AP points are for, for her. That's me. Bye. Yes. <laughs> also, love the hair, by the way. Yeah. Had a chance to tell you. Next up, uh, she is Broadway's newest star, R.I.P. Mika. Whew. I thought you were going to introduce CB again. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm R.I.P. Mika. I play Dolly Wingrove, the lovable little theater kid who falls in love with everything that moves. Um, and <laughs> her animals are Persephone, the goddess of the underworld, and also of springtime and plants, and Brigid of the Irish Tuatha de Danann, um, who is the goddess of animals and uh, defensive weapons and armories and just a bunch of stuff. I really hit the jackpot with that one. I just she did. Just do everything. Wait, she's the member of the the Tuatha de what again? Irish Tuatha de Danann. De Nanan. It's really hard. There's a lot of D's in there. Wow. <laughs> De Nanan. I can't say Yeah. That. You got to say it with an Irish accent. Irish. Tuatha De Nanan. There we go. <laughs> Let's go, Stephen. I'm Irish. I'm allowed to make that joke. I think. Actually, I don't know what I am. Besides, I'm words. Irish. I'm Irish. Yeah. I had I an Irish, Irish person in. Yeah. Oh. Now, Finn. Oh. oh. <laughs> CB, okay. you didn't finish your sentence. Um, he most he did, well. He finished something. <laughs> next happened. up, next up, oh. they have a new movie coming out that's going to win all the Academy Awards. It's Aki. If only, my God, wouldn't that be cool? Somebody want to cast me in a movie where I uh, that I can win an Academy Award? Anyways, what hi what everybody. You? Um, I'm Aki. I will be playing Manny, Emancipation Brown. Uh, their divinities are uh, Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony, and also uh, Quetzalcoatl, uh, the Mesoamerican god of the sun, wind, air, and of learning. Now, is it Quetzalcoatl or Quetzalcoatl? Uh, Quetzalcoatl. I don't know. It's oh. Quetzalcoatl, I think. Yeah, yeah it's Quetzalcoatl. Um, but yes, I play Those a game where it's, uh, I don't the know what things are anymore. C O A T L is pronounced differently, so I get them mixed up sometimes. Anyway, you want to let us know in the chat, please do. Uh huh. Anyways, yes, those are their two uh, their two divinities. Um, they're 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 your resident fighty boy. <laughs> not that they've hit anything lately. I remember their last combat not being very great. It went. Okay, it was a little brutal. I might have uh, tweaked it a little too far to the right, but don't worry, we'll we'll fix it. We'll fix it in post. Next up, they just dropped their number one hit single. It's the jam of the summer. It's mostly Eric. Oh, let's see if I, I one of these <laughs> buttons is. Ah, ah. See, then I got that's it. a run. Yeah. Mm. God, no. I learned what runs. <laughs> I learned what runs are. Mm. Not quite. Yeah, <laughs> 
Yeah, that's that's what There's it is. There's usually right? a few more notes involved. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that into consideration. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Eric, uh, and I will be playing Lennox Thatcher, who is uh, currently in possession of uh, the keys for Ninkasi's, the Sumerian goddess of beer, and uh, Kemeru Seppa, who is the uh, kind of Turkish Germanic uh, kind of weird region uh, goddess of uh, of magic and healing. Love that. So, few things before we dive into this week's adventure. Um, we're still trying to raise uh, 150 an episode uh, in tips. It pays our beautiful crew here. Look at them. Look at these faces. Look how cute they are. Uh, you know what? Got to. They need to buy Chipotle. Okay, I need to buy Chipotle, <laughs> and I want my guacamole. I don't want to worry about it anymore. So your tips help with that. Uh, but hey, uh, you also. We, we, we want to give back to you for your tips. So uh, $15, you get a message from Gladys, our uh, school secretary who uh, is getting a divinity this episode. That's going to be interesting. I hate the fact I agree. Yes. Ah, she is. I'm so mm -hmm. excited for her. Yes, she, she is. Already. Um, it also helps keep the show on the air. You know, we are planning a new campaign. We are. So it helps. Uh, so, hey, if we make you cr laugh, make you cry, give you the feels, just. A little money goes a long way, and we always appreciate it. Uh, but we also want to send some love to our sponsors at Hero Forge. If you are in the chat right now, exclamation point Hero Forge uh, will allow you to check out their awesome, beautiful customization tools that allow you to create your own custom miniature. They keep releasing new stuff every week. Uh, you can have uh, characters with uh, accessibility tools now, and they come so fucking pretty. Look, I've got to try to be a uh mua on youtube circa 2008 right now look at this shit i love these guys They're i just so found cute. out you can make them sit in chairs you yes. can just put a chair down and they can sit in a chair this should not be as amusing and wonderful as it is but it is uh so thanks to them for sponsoring the show and we also want to send some love to our sponsor die hard dice uh if you use the code saving throw 22 at checkout you get 10 percent off your order use command exclamation d8 DHD in chat for links and info. You can get the critical bar dice eventually. Don't worry about it. They're coming back. Uh, and hey, if you're not watching us live, thank you. We love you. It's super appreciated. Like that, that's how you, you know, get involved with this stuff. So uh, if you're watching us on YouTube or listening to us a podcast, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You know the drill. But we uh, the science and apparently if we don't say that people don't do it which is weird but i don't question science and hey if you really love the channel check us out through ko-fi uh if you're live in the chat right now exclamation point k-o-f-i to check it out on ko-fi you can tip as you would regularly but you can also join the exploration society for a monthly <laughs> rolling amount uh you get the same great rewards as our patreon backers and you can unlock things like toast with your tips thank you for all of that now, there are a few things I want to announce after all that. One, Critical Bard, Mr. Omega. We unlocked something when we did a charity stream a couple months ago. <laughs> oh, no, you can turn your camera off. This is being recorded. People will know. It's the snap every time it happens that just kills me. It really does <laughs> send it. It sends it. So, Critical Bard. Yes. I have found the anime I am going to ask you to watch an episode of and react to. Okay. It is the black musical anime, Carol and Tuesday. Available okay. on Netflix. This sister series to Cowboy Bebop is about two, two young women living in a dystopian future where the only way to really get further in life is to become famous. And they decide to do that through their shared love of music. Can you okay. imagine if that were real? <laughs> I know. What a nightmare. A 24 episode anime series. Wow. I'm watching every episode. No, you just have to. No, no, no. The charities. <laughs> but by the rules of the charity stream gods, you only have to watch the first one and react to it. That's all we're asking. Oh, fine. Uh, and it's on Netflix. So you you haven't even gotten the best part. 
It's been 50 years since mankind began its migration to the terraformed Mars, where they live in comfort due to advancements in AI. Carol lives in the metropolis of Alba City, working part-time by day and playing keyboard at night. Tuesday has run away from her home in Herschel City to escape the grip of her wealthy family. After a fateful encounter, they decide to perform music together. Up against AI singers that dominate the music world, the two of them believe they convey their feelings through songs. Will they work hard enough and be lucky enough to create the biggest miracle that Mars has ever seen? Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, Doug. Bruce. I thought it was going to be a tiny and... little slice of life, but no. Terraformed no. Mars? AI? Well, okay. they had to. I mean, canonically, they had to because uh, the Earth gate exploded and turned Earth into a hellscape, but barely anyone lives there. You can. I, they choose not to. I really hope that they fight uh, Hatsune Miku at one point. And they're like, you cannot do this anymore. <laughs> All right. As someone who oh actually uh, has feelings about Wawaka, I am very attacked right now. I'm but, excited. You for ruled that long for you. enough, Miku. I think, I think you're going to have an interesting time watching I, this. I wanted to find something that I thought you would actually enjoy. It's not like it I was going, going to throw you It is going to be a time. Bad. It is oh. going to be a time. I will record myself watching the show. And we appreciate it. Thank you. And hey, it went for a good cause. True. And because I'm such a nice guy, and we this is the penultimate episode, um, I am bringing back rerolls for this episode. What? Ooh. Every tip, every tip of $15 will get you a read from Gladys and a reroll for the table. You can't send it to anyone in particular. It goes to the table, so it will be up for grabs. I will be keeping track of them on my end. But yes, for every $15, you will get a reroll. And I'm not trying to spoil anything. They're going to need it. Are Everything we... is fine. So if it goes to the table, does that mean that the GM can also use them? Oh, why, yes, it does. Funny that. Not fair. Uh -huh. mm. I don't like that. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, so it's been an honor, everyone. <laughs> All right. Before now, where we last left our heroes, the th three of you went on a beach day with your interdimensional and age hopping uh, deity friends. It was a pretty good time. Feelings were had, volleyball was played. Loki got such a bad sunburn that uh, he is going to peel like a banana. One of you didn't go on that little trip, though. One of you decided to do something a little personal. Omega. Kwame. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Kwame. When you got the message to that you were going to go to the Majima beach house, you know, discover something weird about Nanako's family, because we don't have enough of that in this campaign. Uh, you didn't attend. Where'd you go instead? <sighs> I think knowing everything, not to be like the Debbie Downer of the group, but we need information. We just need to be on top of everything. So I think he kind of went into uber study mode xl epic music montage um uh, he probably like went to like the local library uh stayed there for a while researched you know tried to convince the librarian to get into the, the section that most plebeians aren't allowed to get into uh so he can get some of those some deeper texts um he's trying to learn as much as he can about uh judeo-christian stuff <laughs> okay. with the help of abaddon so as you study in the dark warmth of the library you see a familiar face uh through the stacks even in this uh far away heavy area it's hard to miss this uh Familiar, handsome man. He stands a little over six foot three. He hit, he's blonde, blue-eyed, 
beardy and uh, has a prosthetic hand. It is Lenny's brother, <gasps> Mr. Thatcher. <laughs> Mr. Thatcher. Uh. No, um, <laughs> I'm not allowed to like both Thatchers. I mean, I am, but no. Um, um, You're allowed to crush. You can only date one. <laughs> there we go. No, he doesn't even have a crush. He can, no, you can, you know, like you can, you can go like, damn, you are fine, but not have any inkling of one for them. That's basically what that is. So um, yes, uh, this is uh, Lenny after he drank the Dilf serum. Yes, uh, you know we, we got time for that. Um, it's a no, bit uh, young for that, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is he just around? What is he doing while I'm studying? Uh, he is reading a book on uh, developmental psychology. Uh, developmental psychology. Okay. Yeah. Um, the book itself is, uh, why don't you go ahead and roll me intelligence real quick, just to see if you notice it. Uh, I'm technically in Abaddon mode right now. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm not in Anansi uh, mode right now. So I should be in Anansi mode right now. That's a lie. I... I, I say using Abaddon, but just the knowledge that they have not actually into their powers. I wouldn't be a connected inky void stuff right now. That's fair. Uh, I would be with the actual storyteller who knows stories in the library. <laughs> uh, so intelligence, six. Okay. Uh, I was only looking for a three on this one. It's very simple. It was a notice check. Uh, the book is called Talking to traumatized youth. That's very pointed. Um, okay, yeah, I think he'll probably be reading. Um, um, uh, hold on. Uh, probably a Bible, but like an older version of it. Um, like looking at Revelation, probably because Revelation is literally one of the scariest stories ever written. Um, but he's probably just like reading, doing, just flipping through and go, oh, there's Abaddon. Okay, keep going. Um, and he'll look over again, noticing the book. Uh, that's an interesting choice you got over there, Mr. Thatcher. Do I call him Mr. Thatcher? Do I call him his name? Uh, you can call him Quinn if you want. I call him Quinn. I hate that. That, 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 that That's an interesting book you got over there, um, Quinn. Uh, what? Oh, <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah, no, I, uh, um, yeah, so, like, sometimes I know that, like, uh, Lenny went through a lot and, like, has a lot of guilt and stuff, like, very deep. So I, like, try to you know, respect his boundaries, but I also want to know how to, like, reach him, you know? So, like, I read stuff like this sometimes. Yeah. And it's, it's helpful. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Not recently. Uh, recently, he, uh, well, you were there. We had a really, like, uh, serious talk, and it was, like, super heavy. And, uh, like, yeah, I'm uh, worried about him. Uh, I, I I won't tell you how to um, um, reach out to your brother. Um, uh, no, man, like that's your uh, that's your boyfriend. I don't want to like boundaries and stuff, you know. Oh no, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, but also not, not, not even that. I just I don't want to tell you how to do a job you are now forced to do with not having the tools to do such a thing. Um, but uh, I will say that not um, everything will come from a book. And he like looks down at his own book, kind of taking his own advice. But still. Anansi is giving you a bitch, please look. I'm just going to like shoo him from my, from my shoulder. Um, he we can't explain everything. We just can't. But uh, 
there are things that um, just are what they are. And he will reach out and he will be the loving brother that you need. Uh, oh, <laughs> well, uh, like, uh, Kwame, it's not a job. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. mm. it's not a job. You're not getting paid for it, but you are a a pseudo father figure in a weird way. Oh no, really, yeah, totally. But, like but, our, our dad's a piece of shit, but like uh, yeah, no, no, it's not a it's not a burden. It's things. Lenny's not a burden, you know. No, great. he you is not that. a burden. But that doesn't mean it's not heavy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's all. Yeah. Well, um, I, I'm sure that book is good for you. He's currently at a beach house with Nanako, and I. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. She had a she had a crush on me for a while. She had a crush on many people. Yeah, yeah. There were. Uh, giant flowers kept appearing behind me. It was, it was weird. And like, I, uh, I, I never, I, I didn't shoot her down cause she's like a child and that felt cruel, but I never encouraged it because she's a child and that's weird. You can accept a gift without, um, it meaning anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, but I flowers but weird flowers popping up out of nowhere. Um, that doesn't sound normal. Perhaps it's a special breed that they brought in from another place. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. But like, uh, you know, are you okay? I like close the Bible. <laughs> yeah, I'm you're, fine. You're uh, reading. You're, you're uh, in a library reading the Bible, and that either means you're. Uh, taken a religious studies course or um like in crisis it, actually we will call it a religious study course that, that is that is the perfect way to put it uh, you're a teacher you can help me um oh yeah i am um when you are um when when the world religion is um um there's a there's a entity who looks over and you don't necessarily believe in this entity. It's not really a thing. Uh-huh. But this entity hypothetically hypothetically has the ability to um, end the world. And you just... Where would you look to figure out how to deal with the, the spiritual essence that is that entity? How would Whoa. you... Um, where would you look? That's like really heavy. And I mean, like, I don't know what they're teaching you kids in high school, but like, uh, well, we had to read um, the 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 Bible as like a piece of English text, and we oh. look at the syntax and foils and all those things, and just trying to think about the, a foil for the devil, but like, oh. which isn't necessarily God, but like, what would how, what would you look to find the adversary, an adversary for the devil? One that could beat them, and or what? What would you do if you were the adversary of the devil, and you could beat them? Well, you like maybe remember that I like. I think we're Catholic, huh? And thought about that. Whoa, uh, but um, God, the opposite of the devil. Oh, you know. Most people would say it's God, right? But that's not true, because really, the devil is more like a really mad teenager, right? Yes. So, like, the opposite would be like, I don't know, maybe his uh, obedient sister? You see, like, Kawame, like, stare for a second? Yeah. Yeah. Immediately just grabs his phone and starts texting. Is there a key for Michael? Gabriel. Raphael? Uriel? We just start naming all of Lucifer's all siblings. Of <laughs> yeah. There are 
a lot. So many. He texts that to the group, like, question mark? <laughs> And then I starts, say, still studying, period. Yeah, Manny starts going through all the keys. Because <laughs> I think that Manny is the one that's been holding all of it. Manny's been the key keeper, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, in this universe, is that still true? And does Manny have keys here that he uh, that they wouldn't have had uh, over there? For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to say you still have all the keys you did have. So Sun Wukong, uh, et cetera. Mm. Okay. I cannot believe we didn't think about Michael. Continue. I'm going to roll <laughs> I'm going to roll a D20 in roll 20. Okay. I can if I roll it. over a 15. Okay. I will let you have two keys you did not previously have. Or oh, nor. If I roll over a 10, one, and if it's under 10, you're not getting jack, okay? <laughs> Sound fair? Sure. I got to be a 15. Why can't it be like 13? Why would it be 13? Because that's the one out of four chance you're giving us. I, you know what? <laughs> I'll be, I'm already far too nice. <laughs> I give away too much. Fine, I'm, fine, fine. Great, 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 great. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Ah! Well, at that's least I get one. Rude. But I get one. I get one key that I didn't have before. And hey, I will say if we get a reroll, I will let I will use the reroll for this. But we need a reroll. That's fifteen dollars from the chat. All right, I start going through the keys. All right, um, all the ones you previously had are still there. Um, let's see. There was Sun Wukong. There was Katsukoro, who you now have as a divinity. Uh, there was. Uh... I mean, I had Skaven, but Skaven was was claimed when that one is the one I don't have. Because yes. uh, uh, Skaven went to Kyle. Yeah. Um, I don't believe there are any. Because Jade don't Emperor still was. Because like, yeah. uh, Anansi was one of them, but yeah, obviously found. Was the Baron one of them? Baron Samdi, that is one. Yeah, because that was one I was always considering being at the beginning. Yes. Um, all right. So. If we're hoping for another one from the Judeo-Christian pantheon, which one would we do? We need to roll for which one we end up with that one, or can we just say we have this I, one? The way I said it was, you get one key of your choice. So you Sweet. have one key that you did not previously have, but I, I, I will Manny say I think I think Michael I think is. Michael's easy mode, but pick 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 your heart's desire. I mean. It would either be Michael or Gabriel, I think, yeah. is who I would choose. Um, I kind of like it being Michael because at least Michael fights. Gabriel, Gabriel, just all about that trumpet life. Yeah. So Michael, Michael fights the devil. That's that's his thing. That's what he does. That's yes. true. Okay. That being said, it could be hilarious if it were Gabriel. <laughs> Toot. No, we'll 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 make it a little bit easier on ourselves. I mean, Gable's the- also like the defender in the strength, so he he yeah. isn't all trumpet. But pick pick what Manny would have. That is on. That's your choice. Either works. I'm going to also roll a d20, and if it's <laughs> if it is over, if it's over ten, it'll be Michael, and if it's over, uh, if it's under ten, it will be, uh, it will be Gabriel. So here we go. All right, for God Gabriel. Okay, yes. Um, you have a, this key is not one you recognize. It is gold with a blue inlay and it kind of bows towards the end. Uh, it looks like a trumpet. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh, Kwame, I think, I think I might have something. This is through text, right? Yes. Okay. I can say, um, don't don't end your beach party. Um, say hi to Lenny for me. Uh, well, he can see this. Fuck. Um, um, just text. make sure you hi, make Kwame. sure you keep. The... Hi, babe. Um, hi, just, babe. Uh... babe. We have a wild idea. We have a, a wild idea that we need to float past you. Um, I have an idea that I need to float past you. Great. Just Dolly little... is like reacting to the babe message with like the exclamation <laughs> points, the thumbs up, the heart, the ha ha. 
Nanako is doing the same, <laughs> along with sending a bunch of, uh, you know, changing you the group Japanese... chat to like the babes and then me and the rest of them. <laughs> Nanako is spamming between those text messages. Nanako is spamming those Japanese emojis <laughs> that yeah, are yeah. just like screaming. <laughs> suddenly, I imagine I, the two of you were in the back the of the PFP car. He is a picture of Kwame and Lenny, like you know. <laughs> oh no, it is a drawing Nanako did of Kwame and Lenny, where they both have those incredibly pointy uh, yaoi chins and everything. Oh, Jesus. extra large hands. Oh, huge! He's gonna stop blocking people. Um, uh, well, no. again, again, we don't. You all are working. I mean, you all are not. You all are enjoying yourselves. Enjoy yourselves. I will. I just wanted to do some studying. We will reconvene after you're done tomorrow or something. Well, uh, you don't have to really worry about meeting up tomorrow as uh, Kim's car pulls into the North Point Academy parking lot just in time to hear bum, 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 bum. Okay. Let's see. Do I got <laughs> everything I need for this? Where, where's this? Doggy cam. Look at the baby. Well, we figured this out in Toy Dogs. I think... <gasps> Look at the sweet dog. If this is, if you're listening to this as a podcast, there are two dogs, and they are very cute, and one They're is very, very asleep. Cute. They're both very asleep. Look at the babies. Yeah, so cute. I don't know where this announcement I'm supposed to read is. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, I apologize. We have <gasps> Hi, baby. things around behind the scenes. Do, 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 do. Uh, why do I have my job? I'm bad at it. No, uh, it's fine. There you go. Just like, there's like eight different things. All right. Here we go. Wrong one. Good morning, students of North Point Academy. It's me, Gladys. Uh, they, they, you know, every time I come into the office, somebody changes all these things around. I got to figure out where to put the, the sticky notes. Um, uh, this one, uh, oh, yeah, it's a spreadsheet. That's great. Uh, this this first one comes from uh, Five Foot Latina. It says, uh, you are loved. That's it. That's the toast. So yeah, there, there you go. You loved. Uh, said it. Uh, then we got from uh, the law. Uh, that's cut off. The lawful uh, geek says, uh, "Big fan, loving the season." Here's a tip. Uh, hope this buys you some rerolls. There you go. There you go. And this one's from Gladys. Okay. Uh, says it's time oh, to that's get. Your name. That's, that's not how I spell it. Oh. Uh, it's, it says, it's time to get uh, uh, gutsy uh, with, with your grub uh, at the school cafeteria's flavor lab station. Uh, only You only live once. Uh, boy, that's true. Uh, and uh, add, add, so add some both flavors to everything you eat. Um, it's easy uh, to choose your favorite shake, uh, your fl choose your flavor, and shake it on your meat. Uh, get your flavor on. That's a hashtag. That's one of them there hashtag. That's the announcements. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. I like to imagine this meat. was just a voice uh, memo in our group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Kim gets out of her car in the North Point Academy parking lot and just goes, God damn, the speakers here are so good. It's weird. Eh, rich kid school. That's <laughs> true. And that's when the sky darkens. Kwame, or or. as someone on campus, you hear the screams first. And I need all of you to roll me dexterity. And I'm looking or... for a four. Nor. Ooh, no. Nor. 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 <laughs> Nor. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Oh, six. What are you looking for? Dexterity. And I'm looking six. for a four. <laughs> nope. Yes. I could. Golly, Eleni got this. <laughs> Look uh, at Lenny. these freaking rolls. For the for those listening to podcasts, we have a three, a six, a three, and a six. I love that. Oh, I love wow. that. Yeah, my six is a crit six. And then. <laughs> yeah. Wee woo, wee woo. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, 
I will allow you, Dahlia, because you got a six on a D6, and I'm feeling nice, and uh, Critical Bard was just a big butthead. Uh, I will allow you to catch uh, Manny. <coughs> I'm dying. Yeah, great. Don't kill well, I, I think Dahlia would expect Lenny to catch Kwame. So well, Kwame's not, you're not with Kwame. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you're in the parking lot. He's in the, he's in the school library. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely catching Manny. How could I let them fall? <laughs> My hero. Uh, Kwame, you, as the earth beneath you shakes and rattles, you stumble forward and you're caught by uh, Quinn Thatcher, who, uh, God oh, damn, he is. Hello. It, one, is this whole family just jacked? You're starting to wonder because you can feel <laughs> yes. them. Like you're next to the pecs and it's like, God damn, he's got, he's got them good good he's not, he's land thinking about that he's like oh god yes. <laughs> um and you bb is though because yeah, yeah. you hear loud booming noises that sound like bombs are going off in the center of campus uh they're not thank god i'm not gonna i live in america we're not doing that uh but as the Dahlia, Manny, and Lenny, as the three of you, joined by your friends, run towards the center of campus, you see giant slate gray chains with each link standing at about nine feet in height, uh, standing like obelisk in the quad of the schools, permanently scarring the earth. Uh, the chains go on forever skyward, far beyond human comprehension, far beyond the stratosphere and everything else. As the three of you and Kwame, from the library, if you if you were to go to a window right now, you would be able to see this as well. Mm -hmm. uh, as the th as you all watch in horror, you can't help but notice cracks in the sky like dried mud through the swaths of blue, and you see the cosmos swirling in madness. This is fine. This is all totally okay. Oh, oh is it? Okay. Because I was no, I was gonna freak no, out right it's there. Not fucking okay. Look oh. at that. Yeah, no, that was pretty like disturbing and like I was worried about it, but like you said it was okay. So I thought like oh all I right. was being sarcastic, okay? That's fair. That's Everybody fair. always expects me to have my shit together. That's true, and that's not fair. S seeing this, um, you're gonna see Kwame's face like freak out, but slowly become like settled in game mode. Like, like go, like it's time to do something. And he turns back to Quinn and he says, "Um, can you get home? And will you freak out if you see something?" Uh. I'm not going anywhere until I know Lenny's okay, but uh, no. I'm, I'm going out. to go to Lenny. Lenny will be fine. And I'm coming with you. <laughs> One second. I text specifically Lenny, and I say, I'm with your brother, and I probably can't leave here without him. He wants to come with. Are you okay with me dropping the... the... Are you okay with him knowing stuff? Um, yeah, Lenny just text back. I'm pretty sure reality's shattering, so, like, you know, whatever. You're the best. I still wanted to ask. We will get out of this and get ice cream. Period. Hard face. Oh, sick. Um, phone goes back. Like, like, Lenny's just like, oh, sick. I'm going to get ice cream later. <laughs> ice cream? Yeah. You guys want to get ice cream? Like, if we don't, like, die in the next, like, whatever, um, was that a text from Kwame specifically? That you oh, yeah. Then I think he was asking oh, you on a date. I don't, think, yeah, I don't think he wants us to go. Kim oh, okay. and Loki in unison. Focus! Oh, right. sorry! <laughs> uh, you know how I am about love. Yeah. I think I'm yes, still a little I, drunk. I, Loki, <laughs> Loki, just, yes, I understand the love thing. Yes, I feel the thing towards them. I guess. It's weird. He's they're motioning towards Manny when they say that. But we kind of need to focus right now because things are getting very bad and I'm still sunburned and I'm still a little drunk. 
what was in that drink? Um, uh, a lot. Now who needs to focus? Okay, let's go. And I, I grab, I, I go, Quinn, you have to trust me for a second. You're going to see something. I can't explain it. Just huh, cool. hold my hand, please. Grabs. Um, I say, Anansi, you need to go away for a second. Um, without commentary for once, they're out, Abaddon's in. Um, so I'll spend those two AP points. Okay. Um, uh, to activate that. And then I'll say, um, hold your breath. Just close your eyes. And I'm going to use my ability, Abyssal uh, Teleportation, to teleport right next to Lenny. You are now at the front gate of North Point Academy. Uh, you are holding on to Quinn Thatcher's hand. And you see the student body running out of buildings in panic. Uh, some of them blinking out of existence as they do. Students... Uh, at one moment are flesh and blood and human and the next they're straw and empty and their faces are porcelain mask and they fall to the ground they're scarecrows uh... <sighs> okay 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 all right, everybody. Whoa, that's uh, whoa, that that's like uh, that's fucked up. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, Letty. Oh, hey, Quentin. Hey. So, a lot to explain, but you you see, your brother's fine. Oh, you need to get back. Uh. uh <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, n n no, no. I'm uh not going to leave uh, uh, four five, five kids and uh. Six kids. He looks at Loki. Like you never seen this kid before. Uh, oh, yeah. Listen, like I totally like get where you're coming from. Like you know, with like your responsibilities and whatever. But like you know, um, we've kind of like it's like kind of our job. We kind of pretty used to it. Uh, all of us are like you know, like freaking superheroes and stuff. So like, um, and brought... in like at that moment, Manny just sprouts their wings. <laughs> Now, here's something interesting. Usually, when you guys use your powers, people don't see the divinity. They don't see the wings. They don't see the spider fist. They'll, they'll see a giant spider sometimes, but he reacts to the wings. I like to think at the same Whoa. time, D Dahlia sees Manny's wings. And goes, oh, cool. And then actually sprouts a little sprout out of the top of her head. Very cute. Why is she a Pikmin? <laughs> Did you just say a Pikmin? Yeah. <laughs> but I interrupted you, Lenny, and I do want you to finish that thought. Please. No, yeah. that, that was a perfect punctuation to what he was saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I had cool. a feeling you were probably going to be able to see that considering what's going on right now. Yeah. This reality, I think, is, like, falling apart or whatever, so we got to, like, stop that. Oh. Yeah. I think it's time to suit up everybody. And you might be a teacher, and I'm going to activate Embodiment of the Empty, so <gasps> my body gets completely uh, gets draped in ink, inky black liquid with the wings sprouting in the two horns. And I say... All right, Eddie Brock. But you are not us. If we had more time, I would love to figure out a way for both of us to simul talk, but we'll work on that <laughs> later. Um, as students begin to <clears throat> panic and scream and cry, and Quinn just stares, and Lenny, he's not scared of you. He's scared for you, and it's Kind of a nice feeling, even despite it all. A purple miasma begins to flow through the chains. And you see a crow. An embodiment of the negative energy produced by, well, hard times. And I need everyone to roll initiative. 
Hey, Dex plus B. Dex plus B. Dex plus B. <laughs> Said me and Abaddon is in love with Kawame in the way that Venom is in love with Daddy Brock. Oh, no. It's accurate. It's hey, accurate. check out that initiative roll. Let's we go. Let's Some go. pretty solid oh. rolls. Do we have any rerolls? Uh, we have nine. Can nine? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a reroll because that's very low for me. It's uh, actually a twelve. <laughs> I'm gonna use one more reroll. <laughs> Back to my original. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Whatever. <laughs> I could have had a a a a a a initiative of twenty six. I only have a twelve. That was low. Poor baby. Oh. Hey, this is in game. I need that. <laughs> I'm okay. Right, how many gets that used? Okay I used one. That. I used two, so we have okay. six left. Cool. I uh, used two. Yeah, I rerolled. I got a three. I rerolled. I got a seven. Uh, you can only use a reroll once, so you only spent two. So we'll just keep the seven you rolled first, okay? Okay. Great. Right, so <laughs> I'm putting seven in chat just so y'all know where it's at right now. Yes. Uh. Okay. Uh, you all rolled shockingly well, except for that one. Um, so we are starting with 13. Our lovely pumpkin headed crow. The crow before you stands at about eight feet tall. It looks like it's made out of the same thing these fake students were made out of porcelain and rock and hay and wood uh and a large comical pumpkin with far too many eyes staring at you from the blackened void inside its head thanks i hate it and it is going to spew out a toxic gas i actually don't and that hits everyone so let's go See, that's what i should have rolled for me yeah, I rolled a 17 on that, so we're going to go ahead, uh, roll that damage. Roll that beautiful beam footage. Yes! I'm using a re-roll. I rolled no! snake eyes. That was bad. That was very bad. Oh that's my okay. god. That's, that's, that's okay, yeah. You all take five damage. Do we need to roll defense? Um, yes, go ahead and roll your defense to see if you can lower that. Not by Lenny much. rolled a one, <sighs> Kwame rolled a two. These are so I bad. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so these bad. Roll 20, we're about to fight. We are about to fight, so I take four? Uh, I take, yes. I take three. Uh, I don't think I got one from uh, Dahlia. Uh, Dahlia. Dahlia. I don't think Dahlia intended to, I mean, you should, it's, Six. Yeah. So you don't take anything. Okay. All right. Uh, I know you're not next in the initiative, but I do want you to describe how you managed this. You are enveloped in a poison gas and you're just like, fuck you, I'm fine. I want to know how. <laughs> Paint me a word picture, please. Um, I just surround myself with a bunch of little trees that soak it up and give me oxygen instead. Nature. I love it. I uh, don't believe that's how nature works, but I love it anyway. No, 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 it is, it is, it, yeah. for sure. That's why people have plants in their house. Oh, good to know. All right, <laughs> so Christ. next up in the initiative order is Lennox. It's actually me, I have a 12. Oh, you have a 12? Because with my embodiment of the empty, I get a plus two to dex. That is true, that is angry. true. Okay, so Kwame, kick us off. Why do you think I was angry about my role? I'm like, huh? Uh, yeah, I see this thing and I immediately summon my, my dagger, uh, my, my dagger of void. Use an AP point to summon it. Uh, and I'm going to rush at this thing, fly right to it and attempt to stabby stab. All right. Roll the hit. We're looking for a 13. Mine is, I, I, I didn't write it down. Crap. Dex and speed, right? As an assassin? Yes, Dex and speed minus one, I believe. I need to write this down. Okay. Dex and speed, yes, Dex and speed minus one. So <laughs> it'll actually be Dex and speed plus one right now. <laughs> hey, 
Uh, I agree to it. 15. A soft touch. 15 hits. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage while I roll its defense. Dex and speed plus one. So that should be Dex and speed plus three. Whew. Whew. Um, 19 points. Boom. Blocks 11 of that, but it does take it. Owie, ow, ow, owie. It takes eight points of damage. Damage. All right. And I think that's what I can do right now. I'll stay yes, right next to it. Is. So uh, next up is Lenny. Uh, yeah, Lenny is going to. Nobody took it. We took a little bit of damage, but not a ton. So I'm just going to try and hit it with, with a bunch of water and see how well that goes. Uh, so, that's a hit. Yeah, 16 a hit. Uh, so let's do a little damage about it. 14. Oh my god. Um, okay. Let's see. I apologize for the noise, everyone. I recently bought myself a new keyboard that promised... Uh, by the way, Razor, don't promise a silent keyboard if it sounds like this when I type. We right? actually can't hear anything. Oh, okay. I, I, I did hear it, but this is the thing. I purposely got a, a keyboard that is very clicky, and I want <laughs> it to be heard. Valid. That is fair. Not, like, I'm just saying it's I not like as loud as you think it is. Yes, I like right, the click nice. packs. They make me happy. All right. Seven, you knock it down to 17 hit points uh, with that hit. I don't know why I told you how many hit points it has left. Oh, yeah, that's a bad idea. But uh, <laughs> I want it on record. Lenny, this is the first time you did serious damage with a shot. No, I think like the, like in season two, I did like 20 damage once. <laughs> So yeah, he just like he sees his brother there. He's like, I think it's probably best if you leave. And he just like, Pfft. uh, I uh respect that, but I uh don't. I disagree. I'm not leaving you. Fair enough. I'm not in control of you. Yeah. Thank you for respecting that boundary. Yeah, no problem. They're so weird. Manny, you're up. <laughs> uh, so Manny is actually going to take off with their wings towards the their dorm room uh, because they need to go retrieve a key. Okay. I am going to say this is your whole action. You will not be able to make an attack. That's by fine. Doing... That's the only thing they plan to do. They're going to go get the key. All right. Uh, Manny, you arrive at the dorm it is in panic. It's in chaos. There's straw and wood everywhere, but you are able to get to your dorm room without hassle. Yep. They uh, they grab the key. They open their window. They don't go back out into the hall into all of that mayhem. They just jump out of the window and start flying back. That's just their whole thing. Lenny That's and all... Manny falling out windows. They don't fall. They fly. What's flying but falling with style? Yeah. So. Valid. We are Lenny now didn't the... fall. He was kicked out a window. That is true. <laughs> that is true. You don't internalized fall if you're kicked. <laughs> in, internalized homophobia is a bitch. Uh, so moving right along, Dahlia, you are up now. I am up. Um, so Manny's going to get the key. Yes, mm -hmm. and they say so as they fly off. Like I'm going to go get it. Cool. Assuming everybody will know what they mean. Yeah. I'm mean, good. Yeah. And, and the texting, I, Kwame would have said what he had researched and all that stuff, and I don't know what y'all talked about, so yeah, continue. Uh, I, I'd i like to support Manny somehow. I want to make sure Manny can get this key. Um, what's, um, what's like, the biggest threat to Manny right now? The as they fly. The only threat to Manny right now is distance and yeah. this crow. Okay. So there's not a... I, if you can think of something interesting, I'll consider it, but there's not a whole lot. Um, I'd like to... I'm going to call on Brigid <laughs> to do some animal possession. And I'd like to just make sure there's a wall of... There's like a bubble of flying anything around Manny. Not getting in their way. But making it so if anything tries to hit Manny, it will have to go through an entire wall of, like, just creatures before it gets to Manny. 
I love this. Okay, I need you to roll intelligence plus range. Okay. 15. Oh, oh, my God. oh I was almost It's a one under a double crit. Oh, wow. My God. Um, okay. There. Manny, you're flying back. Your wings are... Now, you get the wings from Quetzalcoatl, right? Yeah, I get the wings from Ma'at. Okay, so they're gold. They're gorgeous. They uh, have hieroglyphics kind of in there if you look real close. And suddenly, a seagull is flying next to you. And I like to imagine it's another. like seagulls and geese and eagles and a pigeons. Pelican. And pelicans, cockroaches, <laughs> cockroaches also fly. And I am insects. not doing that. Yeah, yeah. No, Cicadas. no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Steven, it is my power. And, yes, and I get and I point. almost double critted. And I play God. I'm not doing that. <laughs> butterflies. Butterflies are fine. I'll, okay, I'll say butterflies. I'm not doing the other thing. But yes, Manny, you are. <laughs> shut, shut up. Uh, Hissing ones. It's just like <laughs> if I, could, I throw stuff at all of you. Okay. <laughs> bees. That's funny. Bees, I like bees. bees. Are fine. bees are Protect like the bees. bees. Save bees. the bees. Plant some flowers. Um, <laughs> Manny, you have a posse of birds protecting you. Noah's Ark. You uh, you're pulling a uh, Noah's Ark. Yes. Uh, you now have bird cage eight. Cool. Meaning any attack, you will basically have to break through eight before it can actually do anything to you. Cool. Oh, you can vault. Um, it's at this time, the front office, the doors of the front office swing open and out oh, no. steps Gladys. Cigarette <laughs> hanging uh, limply from her mouth. Is this the uh, first time we've ever seen Gladys? It's the first, it's the first time we've ever seen Gladys in person. Uh, She's wearing uh, a nice enough outfit that she got from Marshalls or uh, yeah. Dress for Less. You know. Hey, listen. I'm a Maxinista. Oh, she's a Maxinista. My, my apologies. <laughs> she's <a> Maxinista. from <laughs> Rack. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Uh, Ross, never pay more for Fabulous. Um, True. <laughs> and she has wings on her feet because thanks to our charity stream gladys now has a divinity it's and hermes. her divinity is hermes the messenger god of the greek pantheon you know what that tracks that it's tracks i was and, trying to figure out who she did that tracks and gladys also has a message from our chat Yay! <laughs> in person in person i picture her voice just thaumaturges out yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> i just I keep, now that you've said she's Hermes, she's just Andre de Shields for me now. <laughs> Andre de Shields in drag. Why not? I'm down. I support this. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's me, Gladys. Kick this pigeon's butt. All right. Uh, now, Eric, as someone who has played Gladys, I want you to roll me uh, 2d20. All right. Let's see how well Gladys does uh, at this. Boop. Uh, 14 for the first one and nine for the second. So that is a 23. That means it absolutely hits. Go ahead and roll me 2d12 for the damage. Dang, so you Ooh. got d20s. Uh, that's 13. All right. She blocked uh, not a lot of that. The crow doesn't block a lot of that. Um, you see Gladys uh, wearing her culottes, uh, snuffing out her cigarette, even though this is a non-smoking school, okay? Uh, going up to this crow and kicking it in the giant pumpkin head. It shatters into a bunch of small cosmic pieces that fade away like dust in the wind. And you see inside this shell, this jack-o'-lantern head, just faces staring just from the darkness, and she is unfazed. And then she flies off, because I don't know what else to do with her besides that. It's awesome. It's perfect. Enjoy your fight! 
I'm going out for lunch. <laughs> I love Gladys. She is the best. All right. Uh, Dahlia, you have a Pikmin thing going on, so he is going to pick on you. Uh, the Scarecrow uh, falls to the ground, and it looks like it's dead for a brief moment. And then, like something out of the fucking ring, it starts crawling towards you. Uh, yeah. Arms all over. Uh, the faces arms every so often. Open. You see it a little bit, and it looks like kind of... Have you ever carved a pumpkin, Mika? Yeah. You know what the insides look like? Yeah. Imagine a human face made out of that. Ooh. And it I, is going. Like I refuse to imagine that. DVDs. I can't. Yeah. I can't make you do anything. But it is going to attack you. Uh, that is an eleven, and your initiative was a ten, correct? My initiative was a seven. Yeah. No. This definitely hits then. <laughs> I mean, it was a twelve. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Roll defense. You got it. You take seven damage. No, I'd like a reroll. You may use a reroll. Uh, actually, thanks to <laughs> our last message, we're up to eight rerolls, but you just blew one, so we're down to seven. And <laughs> you just rolled something bad. You rolled a two, which is one lower than what you got previously. <laughs> I'll let you take the higher again. because I'm nicer. Uh... Wow. <clears throat> you take seven damage. As it just claws at you, Dahlia. I like to imagine that I'm ju- I'm just like channeling Brenda from Scary Movie Three, where I'm like, Cindy, the TV's leaking. <laughs> <laughs> and now we move over to Kwame. I think what happens because he had to have they, well, the crow had to have dropped and passed um, Kwame in the air to get to Dahlia. Mm-hmm. I think what happens is I look back at it and um, there's like this weird, like goopy sound that almost comes out as he begins to speak. And he just says, uh, not so fast. We still want you. Um, and their their form um, almost like expands ever so slightly to almost become like a portal of some sort. And then a bunch of locusts just rail towards this thing as Abaddon is also the king with an army of locusts and I want to try to um 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 Did I do something wrong and by being get punished is this why we have so many bugs in this, uh, this session yeah, I'm literally locusts and spiders uh and I would like to try to maybe I don't want to say disarm but disorient um uh, this crow so um maybe it hits uh, less as it's, as a, a little um, company of locusts are surrounding this thing. I will allow that. Go ahead and roll me. Uh, you know what? I had Dahlia roll it range uh, intelligence. I'll have you do the same. That's actually the worst. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. It's, it's a terrible. How dare I try to be fair? <laughs> I'm glad you're fair. Aware fair you're is here. valid. I'm thinking like charisma range, but I'll take it. Why would charisma be involved? You know you're how scared. charismatic I would be a, someone screaming locusts out of their mouth. The the most charismatic thing. Fine. Okay. How Have about strength? Mommy? Is strength. <laughs> Can we agree strength. on strength? I'll take strength. Yeah. All right. Listen, and, and in rage are both d4s. Okay. <laughs> like, yes, not, because not you're. Kind of I a hippo, I guess. I, I don't know. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, hold on. Eight. All right. It now has swarmed four. If it rolls under a four, I have to drop its dice uh, by one. So currently it's rolling a 2d12 to attack and 2d6, uh, 2d8. Uh, well, depends on the attack. Don't worry. I have it figured out behind the scenes. But those d6s or those d8s will drop down to a d6 or d4. Or that gotcha. d12 drop down to a d10. And their body reverts back to the inky mannequin with wings that they are. As I guess I cough out one last locust and then just hold it. It's my Nanako! No. Nanako, who I want it on record. They are helping in the fight. I just don't like it when the GM has to NPC fights. You know, it's not fun. That takes away from you guys. But uh, they are helping. But Nanako does stop uh, with her uh, death 
March and just goes, oh, Kwame, that was gross. We like it. I want it on record. I mostly do not. We weren't talking to you. Yes, but I live here. Uh, next up is Lenny. <laughs> I just want to say really quickly, Mika, like, I, I didn't go there, but now it's 1,000% a Venom Eddie Brock situation. Absolutely. 1,000%. <laughs> like, if Adon had the ability, he would inhabit Lenny just so he could, like, live out his dreams with Kwame. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I wasn't wow. going to go that far. Venom inhabited a woman so he could hang out with Eddie because he's in love with him. <laughs> Hachi, and I cannot stress this enough, Machi. Anyway. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> in that movie, everyone knows in the comics, canonically, he's romantically in love with Spider-Man. Well, You guys have seen the screenwriter for the Venom movies, right? No. Uh he, Someone asked him, like, hey, so what happens if Eddie Brock gets, like, aroused while Venom is inhabiting him? And the screenwriter was like, yeah, Venom would take care of it for Eddie. Of course he would. It's like, yeah, he'd bro out, you know. <laughs> a of, just a couple of bros. Hey, okay, cool. Love that. I have so many questions. With that being said, who's I next? So many questions. I think With that being is. said, mostly Eric, it's mostly your turn. Steven cool. has to do some Googling. <laughs> I, I just dissociated during that entire conversation. Just I don't know out. where it went, but I, have I wish no I was there idea. too. I have no idea what just happened. I fully dissociated. <clears throat> I wish I could say that that wasn't true. It's legitimately true. I heard none of that. Which is You're good. happier for it. Probably for the best. Probably for yeah, the best. Probably, probably. All right. Uh, time to smash this pumpkin. Hey. Uh, the world is a vampire. A nine to hit? Will that do no, it? No, you need okay. a 15. You can use well, a reroll. I will use a reroll then uh, and not do it anyways. Oh, that is a miss. Yeah. Yes. Um, you do not hit. It just kind of. May I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm just pouring water on a, on a smashed pumpkin. It doesn't really seem to be effective. <laughs> <laughs> this thing if you pour your beer on it it just makes pumpkin beer which yeah delicious Ooh, i go for a pumpkin beer yeah. sadly it's may so that doesn't exist right now all right uh next up is manny uh you have a swarm of birds protecting you and you have the key of uh gabriel sweet i the key of gabriel is going in my pocket for the time being uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and spend the two AP I need to spend to switch over to uh, Quetzalcoatl, and I believe that is also my entire action. Uh, no. It's not? No. Uh, switching Sweet. is a bonus action. Oh, right. Yes. So my action then is going to be to trigger uh, my my wind breastplate. Uh, we never, dis we never um, dis decided whether or not that gives a bonus to my defense. Uh, that was what I was hoping it would do. I think that's fair. I'm going to say it does. It does not change your initiative, but it does change your two hit. Uh, my two hit? Uh, in combat, I need to roll your initiative in order to uh, hit you. So oh, right, it, right, right, it, okay. it will make that higher. Okay. And I'll also say when you roll defense, it will give you a plus one. Plus one? All right, thank you. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. That's, okay. that's my action. All right. Dahlia, you are up. Uh, this thing, you are a Pikmin, and this thing is uh, a pain in your bottom. What are you doing? <laughs> I'd like to... Uh, I'm, I'm going to, like, <laughs> take some influence from Kwame. Uh, like, Kwame and Abaddon being all, like, really stoic and kind of, like, scary. And I'm just going to, like, point at this scarecrow its head and summon a bunch of maggots into the head to eat it from the inside out oh god we are really just making it this is today. so <laughs> close to hitting my x card i gotta be real dolly is goth now dolly yeah. is goth now uh yeah no, she had we, will, we will keep that in mind and as she does it she's gonna say like we are brigand. And then, like, wink over at Kwame. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, this is going to be... A, you are attacking. This is clearly uh -huh, an attack. Uh -huh. 
So, yeah. oh God. It's an um, attack on, on, on your monster and on you. <laughs> it's an attack on Steven. Okay, let's make that but that being said, clear. That being said, noted on, on, on the X card thing, we will. Like I said, we haven't hit it, but we are like tiptoeing around it. What is this? I don't want to know. Oh, the, uh, the bugs thing. Oh, Dahlia More is bugs. trying to channel the Abaddon Kwame. So she's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's Jeez. doing her attack and saying, like, we are Brigid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Brigid, I believe, is a warrior. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Yeah. So No, that... no, no. Brigid, Brigid's a guardian animal. Guardian. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that, I believe, is your defense and strength. Correct, Aki? You played one uh, more than I have. One more time? Uh, a two hit. Uh, in order to hit with a guardian... It's defense and uh, defense strength. And uh, no, nope. it, wait. Yes, defense and strength. Correct. Defense and strength. Okay, give me a defense and strength roll, please. Defense and strength. That's Can a three. I... Can I reroll? <laughs> you absolutely may. I would highly recommend please. it. Please do. I. I mean, it's it's better. Is it? I need to leave. It's a five. So I mean, it was um, one better than your last one. But all my ray rolls are one up, one down. Yeah, it's it defense. Really yeah, it uh, add two to that. If my it reroll was any bit better because I think it, re rolls are broken. Yes, because it's it's a uh, it's defense and it's defense and strength plus two to hit for a guardian. All right. Um, are you sure I, I can't use charisma on this? Yes, I am sure. I, I did wink and like I'm I'm acting I'm like channeling Kwame. What does that have to do with bugs? You know, the, the, maybe they heard me and they were like, "We gotta work extra hard for this lady." Yeah, I no, I'm no, I, I don't I'm, no, no. I think this yeah. should go to the council. I think we should take a vote on it. What council? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Summon know. the council. No, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> so Dahlia, you summon these bugs they just don't want to eat this thing because it's not actually a pumpkin it's net it's bad vibes given tangible form okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh we are at the top of the order uh kwame after you sent an uh legion after it uh-huh it is letting go of dahlia and going straight for you uh i'm spending a reroll because i rolled a four and a one and we got a 13, which... No, why does do they hit? work for you? Because uh, the game... You don't take play. minuses? Hmm? You don't get minuses? No. If All you're right. trying to hit me, if you're trying to hit me, <laughs> there you have you have birds in your way. Well, it's not hitting you. It's hitting Kwame. Hit me! Hit me, baby. One more time. Hit me. Uh, my loneliness is killing me, and I rolled a 10. So, oh, I'm re-rolling that. Oh boy, we are okay, down. Take okay, we are down to two re-rolls, and you block five of the ten damage as the pumpkin just it tries to regrow it, just fusing these tendrils of plant matter together, and it chomps itself around your head. Ah! So now you have a pumpkin head. Uh, it's not great. We are back to you all, starting with Kwame. You have a pumpkin head. What do? We said reverting back is what? Uh, reverting oh, back free. is a free is free, but it is a bonus action. That's fine. I'm going to, yeah, the, the goop is going to um, start from my feet and go back up and coalesce in the head underneath the pumpkin, which is nasty. Um, and as it does, you'll see my fists get covered in spider web as I activate my my fist. And I say, you know what? Old Glory's fine. I just get it right in underneath his chin. All right. Roll the hit. Oh, one sec. I need to mark off my AP. This is important, so that's that and that. All right. This is strength and power plus four. Babies. Uh, 13 uh, to hit. Not going to hit. Uh, would you like to use a reroll? 
13 doesn't hit. Oh, 13 to hit. Okay, yeah. 13 does hit. Yeah, I got I get a plus four to this because of my my Loki strength. Yes, yes. Um, so this is going to be strength and power plus eight. 16. Uh, I'm going to roll its defense, but I'm not going to spend a reroll on that. I'm just going to accept this. So, uh, Critical Bard, Yo. tell me how this thing dies. What I honestly think happens is, like Dahlia... You, you it's not you can't be the featured actor you can't be the cameo you got to be the lead and when you get pushed to the back too many times you get a little pressed you might not admit it but you're a little pressed and as i bring him back anansi he's like freedom and he just <laughs> and he just launches my hand uh, with the spider and i think i just break the uh the pumpkin um, with if there are pumpkin guts, they just fly everywhere. <laughs> they do, but before they hit the ground, they just vanish into ether. Um, Anansi, wearing a uh, one of those like fur-lined robes that you know Hollywood starlets <laughs> used to wear, and eating some pumpkin pie because it's thing. Oh, call me because you need me. Okay, I see how this stabs the pumpkin pie. With- a tiny fork. No, 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 it's but, fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm on your schedule. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I work for you. No. But did you get the final moment? Of course, I got the final moment. Have you met me? Then shush and eat your pie. Would you like a slice? No. Your loss. I just had a pumpkin on my head. I don't want the pie. Wow, I didn't have to do anything. You guys yes. really cleaned that up. Manny, you land and you just have a flock of birds and a flock of seagulls with you. Uh, they all have really weird haircuts. Um, that's for Stephen. Uh, but yes, uh, the combat is over, but the panic is still happening. And here's something you're not used to. Everyone at school who is not in the grip of a blind panic is staring at the four of you. Okay, everybody. We need everyone to remain calm, okay? I know it's a little bit terrifying right now, and you're really confused, but we're going to explain everything. And Manny Uh, kind of looks at Kwame. We wanted to talk to you about this first, but I don't think we're going to have the chance. I don't know what this is. We're going to tell them everything. Oh! Yeah. One of the students uh, pushes her way forward. You recognize her as uh, Mei Foon. Uh, what the hell was that? Um, yeah, I don't think we can... are you. Are you guys the reason there's chains? Oh, I mean, probably no. no. I mean, that that's yes. like complicated. So, Maybe. um, so like your reality is like under assault or whatever. Um, by uh by the principal, uh, and we're like trying to stop him from like you know whatever um and uh these are monsters that are like manifestations of like uh his messing with reality or whatever you know uh brandon shock who you remember from the football team and a little arc ago uh so, so, wait wait like what do you mean reality what are you talking about what look what? around yeah like reality itself so like uh gods and like magic are like straight up like real or whatever um you know because like uh because we uh we harness like you know gods to like protect reality they are all staring at you having just witnessed a fight between a, a crow and a divinity and the four of you you know, doing superpower stuff. One of you turned into venom. Uh, there was water. There's a bunch of birds. I need charisma rolls from all of you at a oh. negative three. Oh, cool. So I literally can only get a one then. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, and I got a one. That's the highest result I could have gotten on that. How many rerolls? <laughs> we have two rerolls left. I don't know if I want to use them for this. Uh, nope, nope. Actually, uh, 
Flying by, you see Gladys as their someone, Tony. Thank you, Tony. T O N I drops off two more rerolls and a message for the for the table. Break's over. Here's another boom <laughs> against that <laughs> weird bird thing. Anyways, uh, lunch was good. You know, not great. You know, uh, you know, Seattle doesn't have good sushi. Oh. Uh, you flew to Seattle? That's like far away. Cool. I love how the longer I do Quinn, the more he turns into butthead. Uh, anyway. So, yes. Uh, Aki, I need a charisma roll. Minus three. Four. All right. Uh, now, what I was looking for was a seven. Uh, uh, which is what i freaking rolled i know i know i mean uh, i could use a re-roll but i doubt i'm gonna get yeah, that I got, a, I, crit. I got a nine and it's just it's so hard to actually get it higher than that you only have to get one higher you know than what? that i'm just gonna try anyway same I'm i want to try can we oh, all yeah, try? We can all try can i'm all not try. gonna because my my charisma is that's a D4. True, that's true. i did the best i, I can worse. I rolled worse I, worse. I got a negative one. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I tried to do the like Willy Wonka. Well, oh, was... dang it. Oh, I, really... I switched back. No. I Sorry. was going to say something and then you all wanted well, to reroll, so I let you. But okay, I'm still going well, to take the six. Okay. It's not a seven, it's not what we're looking for. So you're not getting the best possible solution here. But they are not going to be hostile towards you. If I was still in Abaddon, I would have had a plus two. <laughs> I was like, dang it, I switched back. That you did. I did. Oh, well. Um, they are all looking at you, and they are all terrified. Not just of the situation, but of you. No, 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 no. I, no. Like, we're not bad. We're not bad. Look. Um... I can look, watch, and I'm just gonna like summon a bunch of flowers. Let's see, uh, like pretty. We, we get that you're afraid, and while we would like to try and convince you that you shouldn't be, I think right now we're just gonna have to use it. Yeah, normally you y'all can't like see any of this stuff, so you're just like, what's with those weirdos? Uh, so we're like calling an audible and being like, you know, full disclosure. And honestly, um, the part that's probably not going to help you or your ability to process this, but you liking us or fearing us isn't going to save this place. We have to deal with the principal, who is the devil. Brandon Shock takes a step forward. Uh, in this reality, he's still, you know, on the football team, I suppose. Okay, then Kwame just casually just slightly steps in front of Lenny. And he's not looking at either of you. Look, I don't know how many of us were those things. He looks at a just pile of straw that used to be a student. But we don't have any reason not to believe them, but we all should get to shelter, right? Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure if you didn't explode into, like, straw or, or whatever, you're probably real. In, in as much as that anything can be real. That said, we do need somebody who's able to wield this and... Manny will pull the the key for Gabriel out of their pocket. I don't think any of us can do it. Yeah, we've already got two. You hear Abaddon in the back of your head, Kwame. I do not want my brother here. Uh, we, 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 you're awesome, but. I meant in here with oh, you. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, Kawame looks at Quinn. We have, I, 
I, I don't want to put this burden on anyone, but um, they're scared and one isn't. Look, uh, I know it's like a lot to, to say, like, hey, put this, put this god inside of you, basically. But we are not the bad guys here. It's the principal. He's the one that's like captured your reality. And I think the more the more people we have that can fight with powers, it would be easier to get your reality to turn back to normal, and then we can leave you alone. Quinn. Is looking at you, Lenny. Uh, yeah. Uh, so there are like other realities, and like we're not technically from this one. So it's like uh -huh. honestly, there's like a there's like so much going on. It's like <laughs> oh yeah, like, no, this is like bananas. Oh yeah, it's like straight up like you know bananas and pajamas like. 24 7 for so like many the past pajamas. years yeah yeah um yeah so um like i, I don't want like i guess like if you want to like help us because i know like you're you're gonna you kind of want to stick around or whatever um and like i guess like a teacher having it is like better than like forcing a student or whatever so i guess uh, yeah um you get yeah uh, it's kind of cool having like other people in your head uh sometimes uh-huh yeah yeah they're very helpful i got i mean i got a lot of people now that i'm psychic but like you know oh i hear, hear all thoughts that, that's cool yeah i i just quickly um call out to Ab abdon in my head and just say for ease what should quinn expect of your brother he's a lot is he a nancy a lot or I heard that. Shut up. Are you familiar with a paladin? Oh, no. Um, I just say, um, Hi, one of the one ones. Of the <laughs> <laughs> true. That's um, very true. Uh, he just, he looks at Quinn and he says, the, um, the, the wings and the ink and the horns you saw, that is Abaddon, oh. who is technically the the brother of the one you might have. Uh huh. He, he's yeah. He says uh, they say oh, oh, um, yeah. to um, well, archangels specifically. Uh -huh. Anywho, oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. And those are like different, I guess. Mm -hmm. Very a little bit. There's like hierarchy and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 One's like a boss angel. Oh yeah. 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 Kind of. Yeah. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is just realizing. <laughs> so, just trying to explain it to two Lennies. <laughs> um, you got a Lenny, and then you got Dilf Lenny, and it, it's still a Lenny. Basically, you're gonna have a holy warrior in your head who uh, probably will play lots of music. Cool, cool. Uh, that, that's that, that, I, I that's like the that. gist. I like that. Uh, but uh, really, I uh, like Lenny. Are you comfortable? with me helping you on this oh um i mean uh my head's like uh a whirling maelstrom of like different things going on right now uh but like um pretty much like reality's coming to a close so like i guess like i'll get over it uh, there's therapy oh yeah i'm in therapy not not here i think i don't know you are no. Oh, am I? Like, oh. Yeah, no. Man, I, I, I my made sure. Man. Yeah, you did, but like, it, okay. it, it, it's cool, bro. Like, okay. I, uh, I, uh, you know, when you moved out from Dad's place, I wanted to make sure you were uh, healthy in a bunch of different ways. So, like, I made sure you've got that. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. I'm yeah, sure I, I'm sure I really appreciated that. I, I, uh, I hope you do, because I, uh, I love you a lot. And I, uh, I want to protect you, because uh, you're I'm my brother. Like, you, yeah. You, um, I think that like the less we like have this heart to heart, like at the moment, the better. Because like I'm trying to like hold it together and save reality. Uh, so so like we can like hash this out later. 
Cool. Here, why don't you take this key? It seems like you might be the perfect person for it. Um, when you all received your keys, there was a moment. There was a connection with uh, divinity. There wasn't fanfare. Of course. And now there's fanfare. Ba -ba -da -ba. Hear, there's ba 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 ba, and then you hear a chorus and. Where the fuck is that coming from? Singing hallelujah. Uh, there are feathers just fucking falling everywhere. Uh, you hear horns. There is a brass section. Uh, th there, there is uh, Ave Maria. Yeah. You got the you got that one guy from the new Batman movie singing Ave Maria. It's a lot. Uh, it's it's very a John lot. Philip Sousa. He, he is. Wait, um, this was an option. Are, yeah, they they are a herald. It makes sense. Just starts and... doing the music, man. <laughs> I actually. This stands that. for T and stands for trouble. Um, and you see Quinn just kind of blink a few times. The key is gone. Um, Whoa. Yeah. 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 I hate my brother. Abaddon says in the back of your mind, Kwame. I can see why. Anansi might like him. I could do better. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, Dahlia, you are currently being uh, soothed by Persephone and Brigid, both trying to be like, well, yes, that was, that, that's an option. Yes, it's just a lot. And, you know, we only have so much energy. It takes a lot of spoons. They're trying to explain it, but it, judging by the look that on your face, you're not buying it. That, that's like a dream to come down like that. Can we practice something like this? Like, next time we go to battle, like, we do something like this. <laughs> you said the B word, and Bridget is immediately on board. She wants a thing. She wants I, a pro wrestling entrance. See, I just picture if anyone watched the Hercules TV show on Disney... <laughs> Uh, the animated t uh, cartoon. Whenever Aphrodite came in, Aphrodite, <laughs> Aphrodite, 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 the goddess of love. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Um, so yeah, good fun. All right. Uh, so you will not have the assistance of the student body. They believe you because they are scared and panicked and the world is falling apart, but they aren't really going to be of assistance. You will, however, have Gabriel using Quinn well, or vice versa. It's hard to tell. Yeah, Kwame looks over at, what's his name? Brendan? Brandon? Uh, know, Brandon. Brandon Shock. I don't know his name. Um, he uh, just steps forward and says, um, so again, don't care if you are scared or not. What you all need to do is um, bunker down, but bunker down as close to the center of town as possible. Because if reality starts to decay because he's using too much power, it's going to start on the edges and come in. I feel like the campus is the place to hide because, like, if he's going to, if anything's the center, it's this. I guess that's Yeah. True. He's going to protect where he is as long as he can so i think if everybody maybe goes to oh the old theater is not there anymore but is the basement level still available um or the old gym the old gym uh does not exist in this reality but um let me make a roll real quick i'm gonna i'm just gonna roll a d4 evens uh evens you can still find the basement odds you can't I rolled a four. So, yes, the basement still exists. It's mostly used for storage now, but that's where this all began. So, cool. I think you guys should hide there. None of them really are going to argue, but none of them are going to really want to listen to you. But Brandon looks at you, uh, Manny, and just kind of nods and, like, come on. All right. Like, who's ever left? And I'll just like stand next to Manny and say, I could have probably just erased a memory of what is going on, but that feels wrong. We talked about basically 
telling everyone when we were at the beach, I wanted to float it past you first and I'm really sorry, but I don't think that we were given much of a choice. Oh no, uh, that we, we, this is the equivalent of a stadium and everyone in the, the bleachers watching uh, with TVs. This is the Hunger Games. Um, and it's fine. No, you, I don't know what the end game for them is, unfortunately, but they were going to find out one way or another. But now that's one less thing we have to worry about. We can do what we can without hiding because now we have one goal. And now with two siblings of um, Lucifer, perhaps uh, we will be fine. Actually, it's, that, it's pronounced Thatcher. <laughs> no, I think he's talking about like, yeah. I, I Like that caught me for a second, uh, but I think he's talking about the keys. Oh, and, like, the gods <laughs> cool. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, I. <sighs> yeah, it's it's complicated, Kim, you know, because there's like Kim, gods and stuff, and then Kim reality, has put a hand on Kwame's shoulder. Be reality strong. is just a reflection of the dreaming, so like you know, there's like a lot of stuff you have to catch up on. There's two of them, and there's four of us. We'll be fine, okay? Well, I I'm do I'm connected to one of them, so I, I it it is something I have to deal with. It's fine. It's cute. Yeah, it's fine. Is it? Is it really? Yes. <laughs> um. So, I guess, and he like turned around. What are? Uh, do we need like a pow? I don't want to say powwow. Uh, do we need like a, a a a get together? Maybe in Manny's room. All of us, Loki, Morpheus, um, Kim, Nanako. Where is yeah. Emeka? Is Emeka come? I don't know. Um, we have to come up with a game plan. Yeah, Why I'll, I'll start Emeka? writing my um, my speech before we go into battle, you know? To rouse us. I'll, I'll make sure it's really good, Kwame. Oh, I, I believe you. It's funny you bring up Emeka. Why? One of the clay-like valleys of reality that you see above you. The swirling madness. Uh, appears on one of the chains. And a fist just punches through the crack. And on the other side, you see a man of regal stature, gray hair, uh, Captain Cornrows, uh, with wild eyebrows and a determined look on his face. It is Dr. Ash, your actual principal. Oh, he punched hey. a hole through reality for you all. Oh, sick. Dr. Ash, we were just about to kill the principal or something. Yeah, maybe we don't have to fight. You can just take us back. <gasps> Wearing a olive suit, he steps through the crack. He cracks his neck. Oh, gracious, gracious, gracious. Uh, he looks behind him as the crack begins to heal. Oh, bother. He wasn't able to do it. All right. <clears throat> okay. He stretches out his arms and squats down, you know, just trying to get blood back into all his limbs. Oh, gracious. Okay, good. Remind me, once, once this is settled, to teach you how to break reality responsibly, because that is something that has not been done here. Hello, hello. I am sorry it took so long to get to you all. Listen, it's not our fault. We didn't do it on purpose. It was not your fault. I am not blaming you. It sounded Cal a little like you were blaming us. I, yeah. I, I apologize for my tone. Uh, he looks at Kim and she looks at him and there is definitely a moment of, hi, dad. Oh, God, that neither of them are going to talk about or have right now. Yikes. 
Okay, I recognize almost all of you. Uh, who is uh, Lenny? Is this your father? No, no, this is um, is Quentin. Oh, oh, yeah, that's he. Hello. He, this yes. place was supposed to be like temptation or whatever. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Akinyemi, I can only assume what you have been going through. I apologize to all of you for how long it took me. Regardless. Hey, I'm not dead. I'm not, you know, sacrificing myself to break keys and crows and stuff. So I'll I'll take this. No, I... Yeah, that's been some good. Where the hell have you been? Oh. Sorry. With respect. Oh, yes. No, I don't deserve it right now. I have been breaking through different realities trying to find you. Effectively, you guys are currently... If realities are bubbles, you're on the bubble on a bubble. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, I never thought of it. Like, dang. I, I always thought they were they were like discs that went, ah, oh, bubbles. That I, makes yeah, so like much the, more sense. Like the turtle's back, you know? Oh, don't talk about the turtles. I had just dealt with the turtles. <sighs> so, huh? Oh, simple. I'm here to help you kill Satan. Sick? Okay. Cool. Great. How? That's good. Oh, uh, simple. I'm going to punch him till he stops moving. Oh, we tried that. He turned back time. So... Yeah, it's yeah. kind of, I, I literally like cracked his face and he said, oh, LOL, and just started all over. He's kind of I mean, a lot. I respect it, but the fact that you don't have the confidence that we've already tried that, like just punching. Yeah. Um, it, and then you is, show up and you're like, we, I'm just going to punch. We we kicked your ass and couldn't. Yes, you. I, you did. But... Beating up the principal is like our first choice always. Yeah, we tried to beat him up and he kind of wiped the floor with us. Yeah. So punching him until he stopped. Well, to be fair, it's not that he wiped the flow with us. It's the fact that it didn't matter because he just rewrote reality that it didn't happen. And the more he did that, the 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 outside of this place kind of like broke. Stabilized. So and that's when everything freezes. Huh? Around you, the world turns to sepia tone. Oh no. Gray, Quinn, Quentin, Nanako, Kim. Everyone except the four of you and Dr. Ash. I was going very easy on you. The world begins to move again. That's my final divinity. He might be able to reverse time, but I can freeze it. Prequel with power. me and with... Uh, the fanfare I hear coming from uh, your brother, Lenny. Oh, that was Ash who stopped who gets froze time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> Dr. Ash can freeze time. I thought that the principal in this time <laughs> just showed up and was like, I was going easy. Right? I'm like, no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Ari has yet to make an appearance in this episode. But now you know yet? the final power of Dr. Ash. Can we like? I mean, I like a non but like the Jay Demper. I mean, we could trade. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Or a non just the really getting it things. today. <laughs> uh, and hey, we started this uh, session with a dexterity roll. Can I get another one? No. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> How about no? How about yes? Okay. Hey, I got Max. Which for four. me is good. A six. I'm looking for a four. Uh, huh? I do. We have any rerolls left? We have two rerolls. Uh, as uh, we have another drive by from uh, Gladys. This one coming from DJ Regular. Let me find this. Eh. Good evening. Uh, time seems to be doing a wonky thing right now. I don't know. Uh, I got an 
announcement, last school announcement from DJ Regular. It says the Chamber of Commerce of North Point Academy Computer Club uh, for the gen. Uh, thank you to the, uh, the no the Chamber of Commerce. Thanks the North Point Computer Academy Club for the generous contribution of, to the cleanup effort towards uh, the latest. Uh, uh, calamity. In uh, wholly unrelated news, several crypto evangelists uh, are abandoning the area, citing a uh, hostile environment. I don't know what any of that, those words mean, but hey, uh, good luck to you. Uh, well, hey, we uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Ari is doing something good here. I don't know. Just throwing that out there if uh, that's happening. Um, okay, so. And Kwame is see he, he understands what just happened, but he says, "So freezing time means we can beat him before he has a chance to rewrite what we've done." Yes. Does freezing time mean once we've beat him, and is he actually dead until you unfreeze? Like, like I just. It sounds like a a. Deus ex machina, and there's well, normally, always a, a a a something. Well, effectively, I can only do it for about five seconds. Well, so we have to we have to kill him in five seconds. You have to defeat him in five seconds. Yes. Ha, ha! That's ha! Very funny. Dr. Ash, I, I appreciate you coming here to show us your power, but it, I'm not impressed anymore. I'm not. It, well, first of all, it wasn't to impress you. It was to help you. I'm here to take you home, but we need to defeat Ari to do that. And there's a reason I had you all roll dexterity a moment ago. Oh, I know her. A staff uh, about... 15 uh, yards long goes flying through the air from the clock tower. And you see it go through Dr. Ash's chest. Standing on the clock tower no longer looking like they're even pretending to be human is Ari. You know, I've been waiting for a while for that asshole to show up. I'm so surprised. I'm so glad he did it. Ah, oh, what a relief, right? So anyway, let's talk about you guys destroying my gift. Because I'm, gotta be real, I'm getting a little pissed. Feelings mutual. Nobody asked for your gift, dude. Also, you uh, can't really be mad if someone doesn't like your gift. Yeah, it's kind of needy of you. Anansi? Because that seems like it's your gift and not it's, our gift. It's like a gift to yourself. Is Dr. Ash alive? <laughs> Anansi is alive, but he is in a lot of pain, and he probably won't be alive for long. Anansi is, for the first time, not trying to make a show of talking to you. Keep him distracted. I can fix him. Thank you. I love you. Love you, too. And I need everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> it is ten minutes before six, sir. What if... Yeah. This is where we're calling it with initiative. Oh God. No, I'm going to reroll. Okay. Much better. All right. It's going to be worth it. We have we have one more, right? We have one more session? Or no, one we have more one more reroll? Re yep. Uh, no. Thanks to DJ Regular, you have two more rerolls. But yeah, now, we, oh, wait, no. Main no, we so just yeah, used one. <sighs> Dahlia, would you rather use it? You have a oh, higher you take chance. It, you take it. Okay. My rerolls have been so terrible. No, dang it, dang it. Okay. No, I'll take the higher. This the isn't two. actually so. a reroll. I just want to see what I would have gotten. 
<laughs> two sixes? <laughs> two sixes with the devil? That's two that's with the devil. You that's... guys go from rolling two sevens, which you know, number of you know, God, to rolling two sixes, you know. Yeah, yeah it's okay. The devil is a liar. Good. Oh, good. The devil's good. a liar. The devil's a liar, but he has great hair. All right. So if I am reading this correctly, Lenny, you have eleven. Manny, you have eleven. Uh, Kwame, you got a seven, and uh, you also got a seven, Talia? Yep, it's yeah. 11, 11, 7, 7. 7, right. 11, 7, 11. This is going to be an interesting combat. Get some taquitos. Yeah. I wasn't in the, the form that could have given me a F ton. <laughs> and that is where we are calling this session the oh. penultimate episode. Of we are Big going into the game. finale. With less uh, AP points, less health. Yep. Oh, no. But we do have all of our shit up, so we're good. And we got Nanako, Kim, Quinn. Don't worry. You know, we'll be fine. I had, a, we'll be I, had fine. A, I had a lot of real BS planned, but nobody took it like that. Like, Mika took a lot of damage, but Mika has a ton of health. So I was like, I don't I need to super worry about, like, doing anything <laughs> silly right now. I wanted to save all that. No, I can't fine. believe I don't even have a chance to do a speech. We just have to fight. Oh, I will no, let you do the speech okay, for free. Steven. I'll let you do the speech no. for free next session. <laughs> I want to hear it. Okay. I want you it. You got to give her the chance to do a monologue. Obviously. I and mean, then listen. the chance to give everyone like inspiration. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking bards. Ah. Uh, Anyway, thank you all for tuning in for this episode of New Pantheon Academia, powered by Overarms, available now on Drive Through RPG. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me on TikTok at The Professional Hobbit. Uh, and check out Queers. It is, we have finished all the writing. We are now editing and doing playtests and layouts. Oh my God, I'm going to have a game on the market soon. What the hell? I uh, love that. Um, besides that, I'm here, and I'm going to try to figure out streaming. Right now, I'm bad at it, but I'll get there. Uh, Critical Bard, where can they find you, sir? You can find me at uh, everywhere and at, at Critical Bard. Um, I, I do too much. Uh, a couple of the shows are on hiatus right now, but they'll be back soon. Oh, excuse me, and nothing really is coming up. That I can think about. So that just we're check out. To talk about just yet, anyway. Exactly. Um, NDA. And there actually are a lot of NDAs I have. Uh, yeah, just check out my social. I'll be at MomoCon um, in two weeks, so that'll be fun in Atlanta. Uh, but yeah, that 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 that's me. All right, uh, Shidari Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter at Mixgenie in a bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And my entire streaming schedule can be found on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S H I D A R E A K I. And let's see. I am also in a several shows that are on hiatus at the moment, but you can catch me tomorrow night over on Scabbing Rooster Twitch at 8 p.m. playing in Total Party Kills. Uh, I play a gold dragonborn GD artificer, and it's a lot of fun. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, the last episode of Last Train Out, the Night Bannon campaign, I'm playing with uh, Ladies of D&D. That is at 7 o'clock p.m. over at their Twitch channel on Friday night. So definitely come and check that out. Um, and yeah, like I said, some stuff on hiatus, some stuff not yet ready to announce, but there's stuff. There's stuff. Lots of stuff. All right. Next up, we are gathered here today to pay our respects to R.I.P. Mika. That was a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm R.I.P. Mika. Um, as you've seen, I've I've been playing the wonderful Dahlia, um, but you can find me on social media at R.I.P. Mika. Um, tomorrow, every Monday, I'm on Kolak over on Fear HQ's channel, but tomorrow we're doing a full Legacy cast episode for the full three hours, and I believe it's going to be like a standing episode with a free room camera, oh, wow. and when we left off last week, everyone's in a coma in the Laura tech, and we're trying to find each other again through like our brains breaking. So it's definitely going to be a really happy episode tomorrow in case anyone wants to 
Yeah, it sounds like some feel very joy. Nice. Just a chill light, time. Light viewing, yeah. Eric, check the chat if you haven't. Yeah, no, Prolock has never broken hearts or made anyone sad. So love that. No, 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 no. Definitely just a happy time all around. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my week. And then I stream and I do YouTube. So. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ne last but certainly not least, but it's mostly, mostly Eric. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, you can check me out, mostly Eric, on all the social medias uh, and stuff. And uh, tonight uh, at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be on twitch.tv slash BNB Tabletop uh, for the Board and Barrel. We're playing uh, a board game, Tiny Epic Pirates. So we're going to do piratey things in, in, in a tiny little, little board game. So tune little in for pirates. that. Little pirates running around. All right. Awesome. Um, hey, for everyone who tuned in this week, thank you so much. Uh, next week is the campaign finale. So please wild be here. Be here. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be emotional. Uh, it's going to be so emotional. But it'll be fun. I promise. It's going to be fun. I hope. Anyway, uh, catch up on all Saving Throw Show's content on YouTube or his podcast. Uh, you know, the rigmarole. And hey, you can join our Exploration Society on Ko-fi and check out our Discord. We're all hanging out there sometimes and it's, uh, you know, a good place to chat. Anyway, my name is Stephen Pope and I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>